Welcome to your Flame Fundamentals training. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Positioner for a variety of timeline tasks. So you'll cover various methods of drag and drop editing, segment selection, and cutting segments with the Positioner. Now you have all the standard editing techniques, including three point editing, where the Positioner will act as the in point for an edit if you don't use the markers. There are also the gestural ways of editing where the Positioner plays a bigger role. For instance, when Snap is turned on and you drag a clip into the sequence, it is very easy to snap the first frame of the segment to the Positioner. This is irrespective whether Ripple is on for insert editing or off for overwrite editing. As a tip, if Snap is off and you drag a segment into the sequence, you can temporarily enable Snap by holding the SHIFT key and snapping the segment to the Positioner. Now with drag and drop editing, it is very important to note that the gestural editing ignores the patch panel. So if you have only patched video for editing and you drag and drop a source with video and audio, Flame will edit both video and audio segments into the sequence. The only way to prevent this from happening is to lock the tracks you don't want affected before dragging and dropping the source. Finally, it is also possible to snap the last frame or end of a segment to the Positioner. Drag the source into the sequence and it snaps to the first frame to the right of the Positioner. If you hold CONTROL, the segment repositions and snaps the last frame to the left of the Positioner. When it comes to selecting segments in the sequence, you have the explicit selection whereby you choose a segment or a selection of segments to work on. Anything you apply at this point will be applied to this selection. However, when nothing is selected in the sequence, the Positioner and its focus point automatically select whatever is underneath it. This is known as an indirect selection. For example, move the focus point to a chosen track and move the Positioner along the sequence. When you stop on a segment or a transition between two segments, you will see a thin outline appear on the element. This is the indirect selection. So without having to do the extra step of clicking the segment or the transition, any effects will be applied to the elements under the Positioner and the Focus Point. But please remember that explicitly selecting a segment will always take priority over the indirect selection. Through the use of explicit selection, you can select multiple segments in a variety of ways. You can hold CONTROL and click on each segment you want in the selection. They don't need to be in a straight line, just select away. To remove from the selection, use the same keyboard shortcut. Now if you feel the need to select in a straight line, select the first segment, hold SHIFT and click on the last segment. This is great for selecting a long section of segments in the sequence. Finally, if you prefer a more gestural way of selecting segments, place your Positioner where you'd like the selection to start. Press CONTROL and drag the Positioner along the edit. This selects the segments on every track from the start of the Positioner. So this is how you could select partial sections of segments. You could use this in combination with SNAP to ensure the Positioner snaps to the transitions of the sequence. And if you don't want to include certain tracks in the selection, just use the track locks in the patch panel. Now a frequently used operation is selecting everything before or after a certain point. For example, you would like to select all the segments after this point. Click the Editorial Mode pull-down menu and choose to select all tracks forward. When you click on the segment, the segment and everything afterwards are included in the selection. 
You can also select backwards from this point if you wish. But I'd like to point out that we split the video and audio selection to keep this tool as flexible as possible as you work in the sequence. The last editing operation concerning the positioner is the ability to cut or slice through segments. This works in all editorial modes. Choose a track with the focus point and move the positioner over a segment. To cut the segment using the positioner, press X. The segment is spliced into two parts and you can see the head and tail frames of the two segments. What is also good to know is that you will see an equal symbol on the transition, telling you that these segments are from a continuous source. You will get this all the time when you splice a source, but it's nothing to worry about. Now, if you wish to splice across all the tracks, you can ignore the focus point and press Control Shift X. The positioner cuts at the same frame on every track. If you want certain tracks to be ignored, just lock them beforehand in the patch panel. Lastly, you can also cut segments during playback. Move the positioner far back to give you enough time and press the play button. Using the X key, you start cutting the segments as the positioner moves across the sequence. This is great for cutting to a beat. So that wraps up the basics you need to know about editing with the positioner. Please move on to the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Flame Learning channel. Thanks for watching. Oh,